morning guys happy day girls are busy at home school i have new hair um still not kind of used to it i just was feeling the mess of the long hair and decided to go a little bit shorter so that's what i'm doing for now i have to grow your hair extra long you like long hair better uh, my hair was looking you raggedy have extensions in so yeah. looked really great. My hair is looking really raggedy and I do have extensions. I could put them in, but I don't know. I just feel like for Christmas, a shorter do will be better because honestly, it's been looking super raggedy lately. Did you anyway. tell them yesterday? No. Like, you got it. Yeah, I had my hair cut for a couple of days and yesterday I put in a ponytail because I didn't have time to do anything with it. But anyway, I have a story for you guys. Do I have a story for you guys? This is the story of when I, the day I laughed so hard I could not even hardly handle it. The story is that, you know, fingerlings, um, fingerlings, they're like a little toy for girls and or for kids. And they're super popular right now. They're an interactive toy, which means that their eyes open and close. They talk to each other. They move their arms up and down. You're little monkeys and you put them on your finger. They're so cute. Well, of course, I wanted to buy some for Sophie for Christmas. I don't want fingerlings. They're... Yeah, right, I so I wanted to buy them for Sophie because Sophie really likes them still and I think that they're really cute. So my sister messaged me and said, hey, I found somebody I know is doing a fundraiser and um, uh, you can order fingerlings for $15 each. I was like, oh, I want two, get me two. At this time, you couldn't get them anywhere. You still can't. They are sold out everywhere. You cannot get these toys. So when she messaged me and said that she could get them, I was like, get me two. Sign me up. I emailed, transferred her the money instantly because I did not want to miss out on them. So uh, a few weeks go by and they come in and my sister says to me, bad news about the fingerlings. And I was like, what? And she goes, they're fake. I'm like, they're fake, how could they be fake? But I, I mean, whatever, they're still really cute. They still are interactive, their eyes open and close. They're almost exactly the same, but they're fake. They're not the real one. No big deal, except for that now is the time when Sam enters the story. And he's like, you bought fake fingerlings? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, for $15, oh, I could buy fake fingerlings for less than that. I'm like, okay, but I already bought them for $15. So he goes online and he finds them and he shows me. You bought fingerlings, fake fingerlings for $15 each. I just bought three for $15. So I'm like, okay, because he always does this. He always does this thing where he tries to get a better price and it never works out well. But this time it worked out so badly that I could not stop laughing. So anyway, fast forward another couple of weeks and the fingerlings come in the mail. Remember, this is what they look like. And they're interactive and their eyes open. And this, this is what Sam got Can in I the show mail. Them? Can yeah. These are what Sam got in the mail. At first look, look, they're so super cute, but they're just like a plastic, hard plastic toy. The hair is hard plastic. Their eyes are painted on. They don't move. They don't move in any way, shape, or form. They, uh, hey, they no, move they their just, head. So you can move their head, their arms, and their legs. But they're not interactive. Usually, like, they open their eyes, they talk, they have batteries, you turn them on. These are just, like, a big piece of plastic. <laughs> yeah, but they still want this one. Yeah, they still want them because they're, well, Gabby doesn't. I don't want them. They're still really cute, but they're nothing like what yeah. I ordered for $15. It was super funny. It doesn't sound as funny listening to the story back myself, but honestly, I said to him, Sam, your package came today, and I never laughed so hard in my entire life and then when he opened the package he's like I'm getting my money back <laughs> yeah, they were so sad but I like them I, I still like them they fit on your finger yeah like they fit on your finger at least they do something so yeah they're like still super cute they just Mommy. don't do anything luckily for us it is not a barn day because it has been pouring all morning Gabby, Miss Gabby is out here with her bare feet on in the rain. It's not cold. And we're even the worse. Wet. <laughs> even worse, Sophie's out here with her socks on. Crazy. Hey, we I even look, she's on Elio with her yeah, slippers on. Yeah, slippers on. But I'm staying out of the it's water. Wet. It's super mild out, but I can just imagine what the horses are dealing with right now. Mud up to their armpits. It's official. It is official. Somebody that we know finally knows how to do long division, huh? Watch this. Yes, and watch the trick that I taught Ruby. When she was supposed to be doing long division, she taught Ruby a trick. Good girl. Okay, Dad. That's the trick that we're teaching her yeah. not to do. <laughs> well, Dad it. called her one day. Six. And she went off. Guys, this is the 
this trick that I'm doing, I have to hold her feet up. Because oh, she's so pretty. So pretty, Ruby. So pretty. Aww. She looks so cute. Up she like does. That. You guys kind of look the same. No, I can do that. Aww, lots of kisses. I can Aww. do that. Look at how lovely she is. That's how lovely she is. I can do it. <laughs> Yeah, you look like her too. Ruby is I think scared of Nick. To get her in trouble, then she'll say. No, she did really well today, but normally she's really scared of Nick. That's what you found? He told me to go in. He said, Sophie, raid my lunch pail? No, he said, <gasps> Sophie. Why did you leave this? That's mine. Are they marshmallows? No, they're beauty blenders. Are they, are no, they bad? Not. Fine. Are you sure? They're not gonna hurt anybody. She's not gonna die? It's not gonna kill her. They're not going all the way down in her ears. on the weekend. <laughs> wow! Looking for my mother's eyes as I'm staying close to the mirror 
Yes. Gabby, you did it. You did it last week. Gabby. No. Gabby. Come on, Gabby. Come on, Gabby. Let's go. I I've never seen her like that before. Of course, Gabby. She'll jump over. Gabby! Come on, Gabby! Come on, Gabby! Oh, you had a nice no fresh no bed. Oh, Lots fresh. of hay. Look at all her hay. Wow. And she hits me on the head. Good thing I have one. All right, come on, let's she get working. Right it's fun to jump, Sabrina. Yeah, Gabby was terrified, you guys. Did you see I don't that? want to jump. Um... Okay, you do the beat pulp. You have to put some in hers, too. <laughs> She was terrified. And Gabby? I want to jump like canter a double. You did on Spencer and left it. Yeah, because Spencer was, uh, he never refuses to jump. Okay, so she did not trust her horse. You did not trust your horse. Did she let you down? No. She, I could feel her swerving to the right of the jump. And then I two pointed and she was like, okay, jump. <laughs> So I think basically what that means is that she was confused. She didn't know what Gabby was asking her. And then when Gabby said, no, listen, this is what I want you to do. I want you to jump. She said, okay. And she did it perfectly. You guys, we jumped Sabrina for the very first time ever. Gabby and I talked today about how I know she was scared, but there are better ways to say no. You can't just say, no, I'm not doing it when you're scared. You have to say, That's no, I can't voice. do it. Yeah, so um, I think I've told the story before. Gabby's always been this way her whole entire life. When she was two years old and I was trying to transition, transition her from the potty to the toilet, the big toilet, I literally had to pick her up screaming and crying and sit her on the toilet and she was screaming and beating me with her hands and trying to push me and was fighting and as soon as her bum hit the toilet and she just sat there, she was like, oh, 
it's no big deal. This is awesome. And she never used the potty again. I'm but, I would do it. But when she's afraid, she freaks out. And that's what happened today. She freaked out. Anyway, we are upstairs in the girls' room because we are going someplace different tomorrow. Someplace that we don't usually go on our videos. Where are we going, Soph? Funeral. Yeah, we have a funeral. We have a distant relative that passed away recently and his funeral is tomorrow. So we are gonna go to that in the morning and then we're gonna have um, a really nice day together as a family and then we are gonna go to my riding lessons in the afternoon. I'm super excited. I think I'm riding You're Sabrina. You're riding Sabrina. Um, for checked. sure. Oh, did you? Yeah, I always ride Sabrina. So we're up here trying to figure out what we're gonna wear tomorrow because none of us know what we're gonna wear but I'm gonna do a quick comment of the day. Comment of the day goes to Sophia Mass, and I really like this comment because I could totally visualize it. Hi, day by day, I have a tip for Sophia for cantering. My trainer told me this, pretend you have bricks in your pockets and your butt is cleaning the saddle, so rock back and forth. Did you hear that, Sophie? Isn't that good advice? Bricks in your pocket so you can't move up. I have a good idea, just put, my, put books in my pocket. That would be a good idea. She would never fall, she'd just be sitting in the saddle. Like this is Gabby's yeah. funeral dress. Is this your funeral dress? Yep. It's blue black. It's yeah. like navy blue. It looks like black, but in some light, it's blue. Anyway, that is it for today. We will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.